This is the continuation of this video. Network engineering all about wireless now. As a network engineer, are you the person who is more wired? And you always prefer routing and switching, STPs, 802.1Q, OSPF, BGP, etc. Not a fan of wireless. You see, wireless Ethernet, aka Wi-Fi, has been around for decades. But not too many professionals specialize with this technology. As a matter of fact, Cisco had a complete wireless track. We have CCNA wireless, CCNP wireless, and CCIE wireless. But in 2020, Cisco retired CCNA and CCNP wireless. And for CCIE, CCIE wireless was renamed to Cisco Enterprise Wireless. Now, Cisco is unretiring CCNP wireless. Wonder why? And as usual, comment below and shout out your location, like nice video Dean from South Korea, Israel, Fiji. But if you are in a large country, please also mention your city, like from Boston, Winnipeg, Osaka, etc. And also don't forget to follow and like our social media pages. I'm here now in Cisco wireless certification page. And as I scroll down, or before I scroll down, there is a full announcement here. But to summarize, there will be a new Cisco wireless certification that will be launched in March 18, 2026. So let's scroll down. So this is of a, this is more of a marketing strategy on why you would go for wireless Cisco certifications or war, wireless uh, specialization career. So there is an expected growth from 3.5 trillion 2023 to 4.9 trillion by 2025, according to Wi-Fi Alliance. All right, 40 point, 4, 45 to 49 billion, the next generation wireless communications market is projected to grow significantly, reaching 45.49 billion by 2025. And of course, 5% market growth from 2019 to 2029. So in 10 years, it is consistent at least 5% growth. So here are the two new tracks, CCNP Wireless and CCIE Wireless, both coming March of 2026. All right, so let's look first at CCNP Wireless. So I'm gonna open this to a new tab. Uh, I will also open the CCI Wireless into the new tab and let's look at the details. So CCNP Wireless. Now, the first day to test of the core exam, so they call it WL Core. L, WL stands for wireless LAN. So they, did, they didn't use W Core, which is wireless core exam. They, they just call it for whatever reason, WL. And this is a new exam, as you can see, version 1.0. And this is also a requirement for both CCNP and CCIE wireless track. So basically, this is a core exam, just like any other CCNP track or CCNP certification, you need to pass a core exam and then take a concentration exam. All right, so WL core is or to, is a, an exam to test candidates' knowledge of implementing core wireless technologies, including radio frequencies, 802.11 technologies, client connectivity, wireless monitoring and management, automation, AI, etc. So this is a new one. Let's look at the concentration exam. Now, here's the thing with these two exams, WLSD, Designing Wireless Network, and WLSI, Implementing Cisco Wireless Advanced Solutions. These are not new, okay? You have to take note that the version is already 1.2. So meaning uh, this already existing, there was already version 1.0, but has been upgraded twice, 1.1 and then 1.2. As a matter of fact, this two concentration exam, is a requirement or can be, a, uh, excuse me, it's as an optional concentration exam for CCNP Enterprise. So they just move it from CCNP Enterprise to CCNP Wireless, okay? So this is nothing new. This is still the wireless uh, network exam that we already have. One is design, one is implementation, okay? And I already covered and talked about this in other of our videos. All right, now let's look at CCIE wireless. All right, so the CCIE wireless, I would assume 
this is just our existing CCIE Enterprise Wireless Certification. Let's check it out. So the requirement, like what I mentioned, is the core exam. It's not Encore anymore. Well, for now, it's still Encore, but later it will be replaced by WL Core. Okay, so by March 19, um, you can't use Encore anymore as a requirement. You need to pass WL Core. Right, the practical exam, uh, this is just an upgrade of the CCIE Enterprise Wireless version 1.0. So basically, under CCIE, not much change. Well, basically, it's at least more of an update. We updated from CCIE Enterprise Wireless version 1.0 to version 1.1, and this will be updated by March 19 of 2026, right? Last day to test using the version 1.0 will be March 18. Now, this is what I would expect they still call it CCIE Enterprise Wireless, right? But I believe once you pass the version 1.1, okay, you will not be called CCIE Enterprise Wireless anymore. When you pass version 1.1, you will be called CCIE Wireless. So basically, the um, CCIE level is just a rename from CCIE Enterprise Wireless to CCIE Wireless based on the new version, version 1.1. Okay, so let's look at the topics under version 1.1. All right, I'm going to click this and... Uh, all right, so this is the version 1.0 and we have six parts. Radio frequency standard, uh, enterprise wired, campus, wireless networks, uh, up to the, the last part, automation analytics and assurance. Now, if we're going to compare it to the new one, the new version 1.1, it's most... Our majority are just the same. Even the percentage, 15%, 10%, 25%, 20%, 20%, 20%, and 10%. So I would assume these are just minor changes. So, um, yeah, so if you're already familiar with CCNP, excuse me, CCIE Enterprise Wireless, um, th this probably majority covered the first version. So they still have the wired campus. And when you say, wireless technology. It doesn't mean all wireless. Of course, you're still going to use wired technologies from VLAN, CDP, QoS, Verbs, um, of course, the the common services from DHCP, DNS, NTP, syslog, etc. It's still part of the CCIE blueprint or CCIE wireless blueprint. For the wireless network, which is the biggest part, 25% covers a lot of related to access points, a lot of related to wireless mobility, uh, we use Catalyst, Flex Connect, okay, and many others. And you see there's still layer two and layer three functionalities like routing and NAT. For security, I would expect that you will use either Cisco Eyes, what else, DNAC or Catalyst Center. Let's see. Well, 802.1x are still here, okay. What else? Uh, TACACs and radius are still here, okay. Oh, Meraki firewalls. Okay, I think Meraki is not part of the old or the version not one zero. Um, now Meraki is part of it. Okay, this is new. What else? Cisco TrustSec. Uh, Cisco TrustSec um, is already part of the version one or covered already in the version one dot oh. Okay, and, and I probably guess Cisco I is still involved here. Okay, uh, wireless services. We have load balancing. We have MDNS, we have QoS policies, uh, wireless multicast, etc. Now, under automation, analytics, and assurance, let's see if DNAC or Catalyst Center is part of it. Okay, they don't call it DNAC anymore. It's Cisco Catalyst Center. So we have AI analytics, assurance, SD, access, wireless, wireless automation. Cisco Spaces is already added, and Cisco Meraki. So, I think the most updated part is we don't use DNAC anymore. We call it Cisco Catalyst Center, which is an upgrade of Cisco DNAC. What else? Meraki is also part of CCIE Wireless version 1.1. You know what's also underrated? Wireless security. You see, you probably heard a lot of secure solutions already, such as next generation firewall, next generation IPS, EDR, XDR, Threat Intelligence, Web Application Firewall, or WAF, etc. 
But how often cybersecurity folks talk about WIPs or wireless intrusion prevention system? What else? MDM or even built-in wireless security capabilities of vendors like Cisco, Arista, HP, Aruba, etc. And don't tell me it's not really that important. What I see is wireless security is often overlooked. All right. So next, um, what do you think about the new CCNP and CCIE wireless? Any plans of taking it? And not only Cisco wireless, what do you think about other wireless certifications, such as CWNA, CWSP, ACMA, ACMP, OSWP, etc. Wonder why Juniper doesn't have wireless track. <laughs>